It is the 8th of the 8th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Snow flurries blew through Johannesburg, Africa on Tuesday, dusting the city in white as residents poured into the street to watch the snowflakes fall. Uh, they're going on about, it's amazing, Merry Christmas. Snow falls annually in the mountains of South Africa. Uh, which even hosts a ski resort, but the high plains around Johannesburg haven't seen snow in over five years. And uh, let's just go ahead and go over to the extinction protocol. They pretty much got all the other stories. Three new lakes formed at Mount Tongariro uh, um, after the eruption. The Department of Conser Conservation says three new lakes have been created by uh, the eruption on Monday night. The weather improved enough on Wednesday morning for a helicopter carrying a team of scientists to fly over uh, the craters for the first time in, uh, since the eruption. Playing with fire, EGS wants to drill a multitude of holes across America by a process called hydro shearing. Now what they want to do is they want to drill into dormant volcanoes and force millions of uh, gallons of water down into the hot rocks to be extracted from a second well um, so they can transfer the heat into energy kind of thing. So basically think fracking for natural gas but uh, they're not going to use the chemicals. Uh, so that's the theory anyway. Complaints of respiratory ailments pour in following San Francisco Bay refinery fire. That's the Chevron fire. Uh, Richmond resident, residents this morning woke up to the lingering smell of burnt oil from Chevron's Richmond refinery fire, uh, which caught fire last night uh, following a leak. The firefighters and engineers at the plant put the main fire out early this morning, and Chevron reported that its engineers were monitoring a controlled burn as a safety measure to contain pressure. And uh, hundreds of Richmond residents have reported suffering from a variety of respiratory problems following the fire that gutted part of Chevron's uh, refinery Monday night. And of course they put that level 3 alert out telling everybody to go inside and close your windows, turn off your air conditioners. Ernesto becomes a hurricane. Warnings issued. Uh, cyclone activity heats up in the world's oceans. Uh, Ernesto is uh, due to hit the Yucatan Peninsula uh, pretty much as I speak. Uh, big, big hurricane going on right now. And uh, there's another typhoon that just hit China. Uh, and that's the one that just uh, went through the Philippines. Uh, Waterworld region heat hit by third typhoon in a week. Half of Manila swamped by floods as high as three meters. And of course they got videos out of the downpour rain and the kids out swimming in the street uh, with the sewage and all that other things going on. Increased activity seen at volcanoes in Italy and Mexico. Uh, Strombolian activity continues at varying levels following a phase of weak activity during uh, the 4th through the 6th of August. And uh, increased activity was observed at uh, Boca Nuva during the night of the 6th and 7th of August. Also in, in Italy, activity at Stromboli has been relatively high levels over the past few days. And uh, we got more volcanic activity. And of course the, the New Zealand volcano eruption. Over to the RSO E-Quick. Uh, all the reports coming in out of the Philippines through the mass flooding. Uh, flooding continues in India and in multi uh, many of their states going on. Uh, heat wave in Arizona. The snow in South Africa. Forest fire in uh, California. In the Lassen Volcanic National Park. United Arab Emirates is uh, reporting a massive heat wave. Not uncommon, and uh, the forest fires and the drought reports, of course. Finally, over to the nuclear stuff, we're just going to go over to ENA News. Uh, Fox, nuclear reactor halted on suspicion of cracks. We have found anomalies, uh, says a Belgian official. 
uh, AFP possible cracks in reactor vessel question mark so basically uh, in Belgium they've shut down uh, two uh, of these reactors built by the same company because they're seeing some discrepancies and they're afraid it might be forming cracks or half formed cracks kind of thing uh, so they went ahead and shut down two of their seven I believe uh, nuclear reactors in Belgium over this uh, 10 million sieverts okay for new device developed for use at Fukushima Daiichi uh, apparently um, the Japanese have developed a microchip kind of thing electronics where it can run up to uh, 10 million sieverts uh, before it starts to degrade and stop functioning kind of thing and you got to remember five to ten sieverts will cook a human being rather quickly and uh, they have to deal with all this highly radioactive equipment um, that they're dealing with with these three melted down nuclear reactors <coughs> excuse me and um, this is going to be ongoing for thousands of years so you got to think about uh, the maintenance and upkeep and uh, what we have to do um, to take care of this situation if it's even possible TEPCO official on unit number three we don't know if it was if it was really a hydrogen explosion uh, we all know better Alice in Wonderland was used to convince children in Japan nuclear power is safe. Of course, the propaganda machine, the propaganda machine. Uh, nuclear expert Fukushima explosions could have actually blown holes through the containment vessels. And they have a Harvard video on that. Um, TEPCO's already admitted they've had a melt-through. And uh, TEPCO has heavily altered video footage. Experts suspect images have been altered more than necessary, and those are the, the early um, crisis videos that they had during the initial um, situation and uh, how they blurred things and cut things out and cut out audio and uh, all the executives ran off and left the, the engineers to deal with that kind of thing. Um, so everybody's up in arms about these new videos for sure. And uh, that's about new. They've got going on right now. Um, of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, attach your videos or messages below kind of thing. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.